you gotta love, you gotta love your father. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all niggas don't be knowing. I'm trying, I be trying not to be uh, abusive in my tone, but this one might come off a little abusive, but it, it just gotta be that way. Um, the whole, the, the, one of the main reasons why in the black community is so much uh, death and black people, you know, black young black men killing each other, and robbing each other and all that. One of the main reasons is because self-hate is one of the main reasons they, they hate themselves. And you want to know where it really stems from? It stems from you hating your father. Stems from you hating your father. So in turn, you can't love yourself if you hate your father, that's not possible. So that's, that's why so many men that kind of come across as like women, because they share they share the woman's opinion on different shit. Like you share a woman's opinion on your dad. You might I've heard I've, I've heard I've literally heard men that never even met their dad really have an opinion about their dad that was identical to the mom. Your mother's your mother's opinion of you, I mean of uh, your dad, should not be your opinion of your dad. You didn't, and in all that stuff about your dad wasn't here for your football game. Your dad wasn't here to do that. Your dad stayed right down the street. He never came to see you. Your dad did this. Your dad did that. All of that stuff is stuff your mama was complaining about to you, and that's why you are mad about that stuff. If you didn't, you didn't know to be mad because your dad didn't stop by. You didn't know that. Your mama said, oh, yo, hey, nigga didn't stop by and do this. Your mama put that in your head. Your dad, your dad is damn near your God. Your dad, your dad literally created you. So there's no way that you can hate your dad and love yourself. You see what I'm saying? Even if your, even if your dad just nutted in your mom, and burn off and you never met him a day in your life. He still borderline your God because he created you. All that God created you and all that, that's not nice foolishness. We know that humans are created by other humans. You see what I'm saying? A human is created by their mother and their father. So their mother and their father is damn near their God. So even if your mother and father is trash, you still have to have a, a line of respect for them because without them, you wouldn't even be here and you wouldn't be the person that you are. So, all that hating your dad and all that, that's why you, that's why you niggas come across as women. That's why the men, other men be calling you gay and all that type of shit. Because you come across like a woman because you hate men. That, women hate men. You a man, you shouldn't hate men. You shouldn't hate your dad because your mother hated your dad. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. My dad was not the best, you know, according to the Babylonian concept, wasn't necessarily the best dad in the world or whatever, but I don't hate my dad at all. I never did. I always looked at it like this man created me. So I don't give a fuck. He could be, he could do whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he created me is more than anything he could, any, Thing that he could offer me, any value, uh, amount of money, any coming to my football game, coming to my basketball soccer game, any of that type of shit, none of that is worth more than my life in which he actually created. So he gave me more with the life gift than he could ever give me with anything. So I've always looked at it like that. Even when I was a kid and my dad wasn't around, when I was young, my dad wasn't around. I always looked at it like, well, he still, I still always looked at him halfway like my God almost because he created me. So I didn't, and, and that's the reason why it, it would help me to be able to look at it like that is my mama didn't really bash my dad like that. She didn't say, oh, how ass nigga ain't did how ass. I mean, she probably had a few episodes, but I'm saying for the most part, she didn't paint that picture in my head like my dad was some hoe ass nigga or something. You know what I'm saying? She painted a picture in my head like my dad was smart he was a nerd. He was he was in college. He did you know did he was valedictorian. That's that's what 
that's what the idea she was always painting in my head. So she, it wasn't until I got grown when she started telling me how she thought he would, how he did her like this, did her like that. And I think she was only doing that at the end because when I got grown, I, I looked like him. So she almost felt like she getting off her uh, woes to me, like I'm him or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I am him, I'm the re I'm reincarnation of my father. So that's another reason why I can never just hate my daddy and disrespect my daddy. That's some mama shit. That's what your mama do. You should never really do a lot of the shit that your mama do. As a man, you it should be very limited shit that your mama do that you imitate. You know, that's just man shit. That don't have nothing to do with you, you know, liking your father, disliking your father, none of that. Just as a man, there should be very few things that your mother do that you should align with. Her opinion, the way that she look at the world and all that, it's all going to be different. Because... You are a man and she's a woman. So you're an antelope. It's like she's an antelope and you're a lion. The antelope is not looking at the world like the lion is looking at the world. So so when your viewpoints and your opinions align with, with the antelope or the woman, you start looking like a bitch. So that's why a lot of you niggas been running here and y'all think y'all this big, strong man. Third. But you may look like a man, but your viewpoints, your opinions, all that comes from... You you emulate your mother, so you it's like you a, you a woman in a man's body. You see what I'm saying? That's why you should never hate on your father because you're not a bitch. That's bitch shit. That's what you that's what a bitch do. You see what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do nothing a bitch do. A bitch she hate on the dad. She be oh, I hate this nigga. This nigga did 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 that. So if that's what the bitch doing, I'm not gonna imitate what a bitch do. That's what a lot of you niggas that didn't have your father. That's what y'all missed. Is y'all not supposed to be imitating the bitch, the broad, the bitch is your mom. Whether you want to call her a bitch or not, that's a bitch. You don't imitate the bitch, ever. You know what I'm saying? You don't imitate the bitch. You get advice from your mom, but you don't imitate no woman. Ain't no man, but be, that's what the punks do. You a punk? If you a punk, cool. You imitate women. But if you calling yourself a man, you don't imitate no woman. Her viewpoints, her opinions, none of that. None of that. My, the shit that I believe in, a woman don't, she'll, she'll be mad. She'll be mad at the shit I talk about because it's the opposing viewpoint of her. You see what I'm saying? So, nah, you need to love your daddy. I don't give a fuck if he nutted in your mama and bounced. I don't give a fuck if it was him and his pot in them and they all ran a train on your mama. And they didn't even know who the daddy was at first. And then they found out it was the daddy. You still supposed to love that nigga because he created you. That's your, that's your God almost. All that fake ass God shit and all that. That's all shit your mama told you too. In real life, your dad, your mama and your daddy created you. It wasn't no God or no shit like that. So when you disrespect your daddy, you damn near disrespecting God, ran this motherfucker. Because your daddy literally created you. Not figuratively, not spiritually, not none of that. Literally created you. So if you out here talking about Oh, my dad ain't this. My dad, my dad wasn't around for this. My dad wasn't around for that. Just know, even if all that is true, just know you are emulating your mother, which is a woman. So you image, so you, you are aligning your viewpoints and the way that you look at the world with, the, with the antelope. So are you a lion or a motherfucking antelope? It's my media, I'm out.